guys, we're going to start with a cup of cashews and we're going to soak it. We're going to soak it for at least two to four hours. Okay guys, I grated my cucumber. I use an Italian cucumber and I'm going to put this to drain because I like my tzatziki thick. So here we go. The trick to get it to lose its water is you just sprinkle a little bit of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt here and uh, it's going to help get the water out. You could help push it down or just let it sit there and uh, the water will drain from it. So here we go. I have uh, I've chopped up a quarter onion and I chopped it up really really fine but I'm gonna chop it up one more time this way just so we have smaller pieces. So there's my onion, my my lemon rinds. I'm going to knead the juice, about two tablespoons, so I'm going to probably use this half of lemon. And if I need more to fill up my two tablespoons, I'll just use that one. I'm supposed to have four, four cloves of garlic, but they're not that big, so I'm going to use five because I like the tzatziki to be very garlicky. As you can see, I've lost some water and it shrunk in size. So I'm going to start off with this amount, but if I do need a little more, I'm just going to drain a little more cucumber and then I'll add it to the mixture. So here we are so far and um, yeah, we're going to make some tzatziki soon. Okay, so we're ready and uh, we're going to start off with putting my cashews into my Vitamix. They've been soaking now over two hours. I usually let them soak longer, but for this demonstration, I just let them soak for two. So I'm gonna take the cashews. And I put it in there, and now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water. We're gonna be blending that. What I did do was I saved, um, I don't know if you could see this, I saved the water that was draining from my uh, cucumber. And if I need to add a little extra water, I will be adding, uh, I will be adding that water because it does have a nice cucumber flavor to it. So here we go. Sorry for the noise, it's very loud. But because I'm making a small batch, I will have to go down and just give it a mix so it all gets done. You could actually make this in your, if you have a Nutribullet, you could actually make it in there too. Okay, so I do need a little more water. So I'm gonna use just a bit of my green water I saved. And we put it back on. I'm just going to scrape it down again just to make sure I've got everything. And this is so good and it does last quite a bit in the fridge. But my house, it never lasts long. This is 
a staple. You could also use this, believe it or not, and you can add it to a salad dressing. You just need a little bit and you dilute it and you have a great, great salad dressing. Let's get this going one more time. See how creamy that is? That's why you need a very powerful blender. I use the Vitamix and I swear on it. Yes, it's expensive, but it really is a great machine. So how easy is this? So I've got my creamed cashews. I'm gonna be hand crushing because I like to have little bits of the garlic into the tzatziki. I have the rinds of half a lemon that I put aside and I'm going to add it. I have the onion that I'm going to add. And you don't have to put onion. I mean, you know, you could see what you like, but I like the onion in it. And I've got my cucumber that I have drained. And I'm putting that in there. And I'm going to mix this up. I still have to put some lemon juice. I need two tablespoons. So here we go. I'm going to hand squeeze it. Hope I don't get any seeds in it. And there goes that seed. Maybe I should have used. Okay, so here's one. Trying to get the seeds. Might as well use this half. Make it easier. Or maybe I'll use. No, I'll just use this. Okay. Now, if my daughter Erica was here, she'd say, Mom, you're wasting it. Okay. And I've got my second. So as you can see, it's very easy to make, healthy for you, a lot healthier than having anything from dairy. You know that our bodies can't break down animal protein, so it actually leaches calcium from our bones and our teeth, just so it can neutralize the acidity of the animal products in your stomach and you end up having bone problems or teeth problems so this is the best way to go so I'm gonna mix this get another spatula and then I will add and as it sits in the fridge actually you should do it early enough so that it can sit in the fridge and marry all the flavors together so it's nice and thick, beautiful tzatziki. Look at this. Do I have you in camera? Yes, I do. So I'm going to crush the garlic. I'm going to add salt. And some pepper. So I'm going to add some pepper, a nice Big pinch, salt, I'd say about maybe uh, a quarter, just a little over a quarter teaspoon, but if you want more, you could add more. And the garlic that I'll be crushing, where is my crusher? some of this garlic in there I, like I said I'd rather do it this way because I could actually feel the garlic under my teeth 
but if you don't like to feel the garlic you could always put it through your blender while you're blending your cashews and then you won't feel the garlic at all so And the last one, whoop, that one in. And it's that easy. It really isn't hard. And it's so good. There we go. I love my porcelain knife. So that's it. You mix it. Taste it. If you need more salt, you add more salt. And that's it. Tzatziki is made. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? So that's it. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll be adding a lot of... Uh, mm, this is good already. I'll be adding a lot more recipes for you and uh yeah thank you